Hi, and in today's video, we're going to talk about flipping the classroom. Now, in the traditional classroom, students would come into class, the teacher would give a lecture, and then assign homework. The students would go home and work on the homework, and in some cases, especially in a math class, they would either A, not get it, B, do it wrong, C, cheat, and or just not get it and ask questions, and that's fine. But in the flipped classroom, the traditional flipped classroom, students would go home and watch a video lesson, typically of their teacher teaching the lesson or lecture that they want them to understand, and then they'll come into class and use all of that class time to really practice and understand what they're doing and get help if they need it. So how it works? In our classroom, students would go home, in the past, students would go home, watch the flip video, take a daily assessment, it's about three questions to determine were, did they understand the video, and then based off of that score, we'd be able to put them into three groups, an extension and exploration, small group instruction and practice, or a video and practice group. This year, we're trying something different. We are trying to have them, rather than front-loading with a video, we're having them work on an exploratory activity, which we'll talk about, and based off of that exploratory activity, they'll hopefully develop their own understanding and their own reasons for why these things happen and how to do them. But even if they don't, they can go home that night and watch the flip video to really kind of reinforce what their understanding was and hopefully clear up any misconceptions. And then we'd go through the same daily assessment and differentiated group process. So the exploratory activities. We feel, like it's, we feel that it's very important that rather than just telling them everything that they need to know, which sometimes, is, sometimes it's, it's easier for them to understand and to deliver in that way, but sometimes we can give them activities that help them develop their own understanding. So Let's Be Rational is an activity that we gave them, and the purpose of it is that at the end of the activity, they should be able to determine which numbers are rational and irrational. So again, rather than just saying these types of numbers are rational and these types of numbers are irrational, we give them, in this instance, a set of 10 problems that are already solved. It says 5 is rational because 5 equals 5 divided by 1. 0.5 is rational because 0.5 equals 1 half. So as they go through the process, they work in their groups to determine, hey, I noticed that fractions seem to be more rational and numbers that have decimal decimals seem to be irrational, but then they get to some of these other things where number 8 says 0.23 is rational, and that throws off their decimal idea of being irrational. So they go through the process, they test it out, they talk to their neighbors, and then we kind of bring it all together at the end of class. Another activity we do is on teaching exponents. This one's called How Did This Happen? So again, rather than telling them the exponent rules, we give them a set of problems and they work with their groups to kind of come up with their own understanding of, hey, I noticed when you multiply exponents with the same base, you're really just adding them up. So we really are trying to get them to do their own thinking, where it is student-centered. Then. So then we have them watch the flip video if they need it, where we go through and we explain it. We give them a purpose, we give them you know, some steps to help them solve it if they're still having some problems, and then at the end, we give them a you try problem. So this is a problem that after they've watched a few examples, we want them to try it again and see what they can come up with. Next is the daily assessment. We give them problems to help them think and hopefully help them reflect on what they've done. For example, show that point three 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 is rational. Use words and operations to justify your response. So they're being asked to answer the question and then actually think and use words to get at why they feel like that and that helps the student to reflect on their understanding and it helps us as a teacher to, you know, hopefully get at what misconceptions they have. Then we have our differentiated groups, which we'll talk more in depth on in that video. Again, they have an extension and exploratory project, they have small group instruction and practice, or students will go over video notes and practice. So, most people have several different iterations of the flip. Now, we've done flipping the classroom, 
which is our 1.0, where the students go home, they watch the video, they come in and practice. But we feel like it wasn't enough for our students that were not as engaged. So we threw Flip Mastery in so that the students that could understand it, or students that understood it easily, could move forward, and the students that needed more help can stay in practice without feeling obligated or holding back the class. This one that we're working on this year is this whole idea of gamification, or Flip Mastery, the gamified version, or 3.0, where students, again, are being rewarded for the effort that they put in rather than just results. And students are finding, and the idea behind it is that it's supposed to be more engaging for the students where they're going to be given badges and awards and achievements for working hard or getting their homework in, not who gets 100% on all tests, which is good and something that should be celebrated, but this is to help engage all learners. So, now that you've watched this video, we want you to try taking a daily assessment. So if you could please go to salamancamath.com. There's a link on that page for inclusion in the K-12 classroom. And then we want you to go to the flip classroom section, which is step two, and click on the link for the daily assessment. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.